friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about the many uses for zucchini and hopefully I'll get at least most of them covered in this video. So I have a list here and I'm pretty sure I've still forgotten some things. So if you have any ideas that I don't end up covering in this video, go ahead and put them down below because here's the thing. So many people are very creative on the many ways we can use up some of the produce from our garden that a lot of people will come up with ideas that other people don't think about. Aside from the obvious zucchini bread and zucchini pickles, by the time this video publishes, some of you are probably like, I've already got enough zucchini pickles and have made so much zucchini bread that I need some fresh ideas. So that's what this video is for. One of the things I actually haven't done in a couple of years because I made up so much of it uh, at least two years ago was a green tomato zucchini relish. So taking the excess green tomatoes and some of the excess zucchini, I was able to make a really good and healthy relish that tastes far better than any store-bought relish I have ever tried. And, and I also did a video on it that I'll go ahead and link to in the description box down below if you would like to know that recipe. But that's one great way where you can use up both of those items. And then another thing is to slice your zucchini into discs real thin. Just brush a light layer of some kind of oil over them, preferably an oil that can handle a higher heat like maybe melted coconut oil or avocado oil or even an organic grapeseed oil and then dehydrate them and they will turn crisp like little chips so they'll be a healthy form of a chip and oh and also you can put a little salt on them but very very lightly because if you salt them the way you would for an undehydrated zucchini slice it'll be way too salty by the time it shrinks down to that little chip so very lightly it is nice to salt it beforehand because then the salt will stick to it as it's dehydrating but you have to go very very light-handed on it think about a quarter of the amount that you would put on a fresh zucchini slice. Now, here are some other gluten or grain-free ideas. I have used zucchini to make a rice replacement. Now, a lot of people have heard of doing that with cauliflower, but you can do the same thing with zucchini. So using a chopper like this, I can chop the zucchini up in small enough pieces that maybe not as small as rice, but small enough that when I go to cook it up the way I want to, um, I kind of get more of that feeling of having a grain like a rice and I can prepare it however I want. You can make what's often called zoodles which is zucchini noodles and there's several different ways you can do it. You can get special appliances that you can that can take up room in your cabinets when really all you need is a vegetable peeler and most everyone should have one of those anyway and you can make noodles out of that. I've made noodles before many times. I love zucchini noodles actually. And what I'm gonna do by the way is link to the video I did in 2019 that even more uses for zucchini because I go into more detail than I have time to go into in this video on how I do the noodles and the rice and how I cook it up and also how I make made the zucchini ice cream. So yes, I've made zucchini ice cream before using my own ideas and that was thanks to a subscriber that said she's made zucchini ice cream. And something that came to mind, especially now with using more and more dairy powders is that one can use the heavy cream powder to mix in with that zucchini. And because zucchini tends to be very watery anyway, you probably would not need to add any kind of liquid to it to get it to the consistency you want to make a nice uh, ice cream out of it. Now, another one that I tried a couple years ago was um, when I was doing that, uh, going through a vegan grain-free period just to reset my metabolism two years ago, and I was doing a lot of nut milks, I did try making a zucchini nut milk. So I used this zucchini combined with a couple of my favorite nuts that I like to use to make a milk with. Then I made a milk out of that, and then I took the pulp, and with that pulp, there's so many things you can do with that. You can take that pulp and add a little cacao powder to it and whatever sweetener you want, a little bit of honey, whatever it is, maple syrup, and uh, turn it into a, a chocolate zucchini nut pudding, or leave the cacao and the sweetener out and add some spices and a little nutritional yeast, and you can make a really tasty, cheese kind of spread to go on 
breads, crackers, or even a dip out of that. And that's pretty good too. And that's a really good way to do it and, and be vegan or, and or grain free. I was actually using zucchini slices in place of crackers or bread to dip it in. So I was getting double the amount of zucchini by doing that. And then bakes. This is what I'm going to do today. So you can see I've already started chopping up some zucchini and I have some chicken pieces from a roasted chicken I did a couple weeks ago. So I went ahead and froze the rest of the, the chicken meat off of that. So I'm thawing it out right now and I'm going to make a, a meat veggie bake. Usually I do this with beef, but basically I'll just throw chunked up zucchini, carrots, potatoes, a meat, whatever spices and any other vegetables that sound good I want to throw in there put it in a pan and today it's a nice beautiful day so I'm going to be sticking it in the solar oven and letting it bake in there. It's just super easy to do and it's a quick easy one dish meal because you can put whatever you want in there. It could be ground beef, it can be chunks of uh, roast, you can leave the meat out all together if you're vegan and just go with all vegetables in there. So some other ideas, a lot of one thing I tend to use zucchini a lot for when it's coming in fresh is making stir fries and sautés. Again, same idea as with the bake. You throw whatever vegetables you want. If you got snow peas coming in fresh, some kale or collards or whatever it is, just mix it all together and just make a nice little saute or a stir fry or even add it to fried rice. That's a really good option as well. Whenever I make a fried rice dish, I throw in as much stuff as I can where I can make it a one dish meal. Instead of having the fried rice be a side dish, it becomes a hearty one dish meal. And it changes all the time depending on what's available. Another thing I really like to do with fresh zucchini is to slice it into french fry size pieces. And I'll actually eat them raw and I'll eat them with an organic ketchup or mustard or both or maybe some homemade mayonnaise with ketchup. So I feel like I'm kind of having French fries, but you can take it that step further and do like I was talking about with the slices that you dehydrate to make chips. You can just brush a little oil over those pieces, sprinkle a little bit of seasoned salt over and then bake them in the oven until they get a little crisp on the outside and then try them like a French fry replacement in that way. And another thing I do, which is another great idea for gluten free or grain free people or keto people is to take your bigger slices like from the end and make little cut them into discs and then you can make little sandwiches out of it i do that a lot this time of year so if you're not vegan you can put a little slice of cheese on there a little tomato onion lettuce whatever it is you want to put in there and then i mentioned the ice cream earlier don't forget you can also add your zoo your fresh zucchini to smoothies and throw in some banana apples whatever it is you want make some really tasty smoothies that way and that's the great thing about zucchini is the flavor is so mild that it blends well with anything whether it be a savory dish or a sweet dish and you can also use all these same ideas and make zucchini creamsicle and then again going back to just cutting them into little rounds and using them like a chip or a cracker you can dip them in like i have a recipe i put out for an asian hot sauce that it's my own recipe that i'll link to down below or uh, even your homemade hummus. I also have a recipe on that. Hummus is another one of those great things is you can make it however you want. You can add whatever you want to it, just so long as you have those base ingredients of garbanzo beans and tahini, you can make whatever flavored hummus you want. So I'll go ahead and link to that old video down below. But yeah, you can use the hummus, you know, dip your zucchini in that, or even your homemade ranch dressing also have a video recipe on that that one's also old and i make my mayonnaise a little bit differently now um just so you know if you go watch that video and you see how i make the mayonnaise the the only big difference now is that instead of using all avocado oil i use half a cup of avocado oil and half a cup of melted coconut oil that actually once you stick it in the fridge actually will thicken it up and help it to set better so you get a thicker mayonnaise out of that. The, the next two examples I'm going to give you, I've not tried yet myself, but my daughter-in-law, when I'll share some of my zucchini with her, and she likes to make zucchini boats. She makes it more of an Italian dish, kind of like a pizza, but instead of having pizza crust, you're using the zucchini as the crust, but you just 
basically hollow out the inside put your sauce and your pepperoni and cheese and whatever it is you want to put in there and that's one of their favorite things to do in the summertime when there's zucchini coming in and then some other people shared this interesting idea and that is using zucchini as a replacement for apples in apple pie and i guess people don't even know the difference now i haven't tried that yet because well, I have apples. I don't need to replace my, my own apples, things. but there's a great idea if you don't have your own apples, but you have lots of zucchini, make an apple pie out of it. See how it turns out. And then another thing is that, you know how you get those zucchini, even though you may be like me and trying to get most of them when they're this size, uh, there's always those ones that somehow you don't see. Or you go out there one day and maybe they're this big and you decide oh, i think i'm gonna let it get a little bigger than that because usually i like them a little bigger than this but you go out there the next day and suddenly they've tripled in size and you're thinking how the heck did that happen or they get hidden under those big leaves of the zucchini and you didn't see it the last couple times you were out then all of a sudden you find this literally find a zucchini this this big i think I, it was last year i got one that was almost eight pounds that was bigger than my firstborn child and he was the bigger of my two kids so <laughs> and it was just one of those things well if that happens you know how zucchini when you let it go to get it too big they kind of get a little punky on the inside however leave that zucchini and let it completely mature where it starts to turn a little bit orange and yes the zucchini on the inside will turn kind of a yellowish orange color sort of similar to the color of like a butternut squash and what I have found is when I do that, it will get tougher, but you can take that zucchini, peel it, chop it up, and cook it up just like you would other types of squash. The flavor is definitely more bland than a nice butternut or acorn squash, but you can still spice it up whether you want to add butter and brown sugar or some seasoned salt, garlic, and whatever else to get a more savory flavor. You can still do the same thing with it. You just might want to add a little bit more to make up for the more bland flavor of the zucchini, but it does work. You can use it as a a side dish with your dinner. Now I'm gonna be talking about dehydrating zucchini and ways you can use that in just a minute, but I want to go back a couple of steps and talk about uh, sometimes when our zucchini first starts to flower. In most cases, we might get a lot of male flowers. This is what's most common is your male flowers will come in first. And I know by the time this video comes out, it's gonna be a little too late probably for most people to do this, but some people will take all those excess male flowers because there's no female flowers for those male flowers to pollinate so they're just kind of going to waste sort of i mean there's purpose for that and that is to help grab the attention of the bees so that when the female flowers start to bloom they're already knowing what to look for and that's why the male flowers always grow up taller and get above the plant and that's to draw the bees in so if you end up with a lot of male flowers but no female flowers for them to pollinate harvest those flowers and you can use them you can chop them up and use them in salads or you can do what some people will do and that is they actually bread and fry the flowers. I personally haven't tried that one yet but I think it sounds really delicious. And then another thing you can do is if it's the other way around like has happened to me the, this, this year and last year was I actually had my female flowers coming in first and no male flowers to pollinate the female flowers and they'll you'll see at the base of that female flower they'll be just a little tiny zucchini well you can go ahead and harvest and use those now what I did this year was I went ahead and chopped them up flour and all and just added it to salad or you can also chop them up and add them to a stir fry or use them in any other way that you would normally use zucchini just they're just a lot smaller. Okay, so let's get on to dehydrated zucchini. So you can dehydrate zucchini however you want. You can slice them in the disc and, and dry them up for using as a noodle replacement in making lasagna. You can make the aforementioned zoodles and dehydrate those up and then cook them down the road for a noodle replacement. You can also grate your zucchini and dehydrate that up. And by the way, uh, dehydrated or fresh grated zucchini besides using in 
zucchini bread, you can also add it to uh, your fritters, like your, your potato, carrot, onion, and zucchini fritters. I usually like to add meat to them. I have an old, old video I did on that, and I think I used shredded zucchini in that one that I'll go ahead and link to down below, but that will be like our main dish when I do that. Shredded potatoes, zucchini, carrots, and onions, and then, you, and then whatever meat you want to put in there. It can be a shredded meat, it can be a ground meat, and then just make patties out of them and fry them and it's so delicious. But anyway, so you can use your dehydrated uh, grated zucchini for doing those same things. You just need to rehydrate that first by soaking it in water or even a homemade wine or something to add flavor to it as it's rehydrating, depending on what you're gonna use it in. But my favorite way now, I've, I've dehydrated zucchini in very many forms, all the forms that I mentioned, but this is the way I do it now. It's the only way I do it now because I use it most this way. And that is just to chop it up fine. And you can see in the picture what it looks like before it's dehydrated and then I jar it up like this. I can fit a lot of zucchini. I think I figured I can put about four, I always forget what the number is. I think four whole zucchini is at least this size when I chop and dehydrate it into a quart jar like this. Then if I choose to powder it, like I did here, I can fit twice that many. So that means I could fit eight in at least a quart jar. It could be even a pint jar I'm thinking of, but either way, you can put a lot of zucchini when you dehydrate it up into your jars and save you a lot of space in your freezer. I do still like to chunk up and freeze some of my zucchini just to have on hand for making the bakes like I mentioned, but I don't like to do that too much because it does take up a lot of room in the freezer. But Anyway, with the zucchini like this, through the year, I use it a lot. I can add it to so many things. So I can rehydrate it separately to go into casseroles. When I make soups, I always throw just straight dehydrated or freeze-dried goods directly into the soup. The soup will then rehydrate it as it's cooking. And zucchini is one of the main things I that always goes in my soups. I also add it to my homemade sauces, be it Italian sauce, or a fettuccine sauce, even some just gravies for like biscuits and gravy, or meatballs and gravy, or a turkey a la king, anything like that, I add the little zucchini pieces to. They don't rehydrate fully to the same size they were, but they do soften enough, and they're, they just seem to be the perfect size for putting into sauces and, and so on. And then if you choose to powder it, then you can use it in many other things. So you can add the powder through the year to when you don't have it coming in fresh to your smoothies. You can use it for thickening up your soups and your gravies. Something I've done quite a bit with it is used it in breads. I've added it to pancakes. I even have a recipe that I did, I think again two years ago where I made hamburger buns from scratch and added the zucchini powder to that. I've added it to just regular yeast breads as well, like loaf breads. So I'll link down below to the hamburger bun recipe that I did when I was making those elk burgers and added the, what I was calling Z powder to that. Uh, you can also add it to any other types of breads, muffins, cookies, anything. Again, it's such a mild flavor. It blends well with whatever you want to add it to. So I think I covered everything in my notes. I'm still feeling like there's something important I forgot to add. However, that's what I have you guys for. Go ahead and add your ideas, even if they're some of the same ideas, but maybe you do it a little bit differently. Go ahead and add those in comments down below so others can learn from you as well. And please don't forget to check out the videos I'll be putting down below. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it, was, I hope it gave you lots of great ideas to use a lot of that excess zucchini. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.